How's everybody doing? We are back with another tutorial. In today's tutorial, we're going to be looking at the song Workhorse off of ATW. This is definitely my favorite song to play on slide guitar. I, I love it. It's swampy, it's bluesy, it's got like that Delta vibe to it. Let's get right into it. The first thing that you guys are going to want to focus on is the tuning. Um, so this is my 1979 Gretsch Beast. It's tuned to open D. So this was actually the guitar that I used on the recording. The tuning is going to be D, A, D, F sharp, A, and then D. So when you strum it, it's an open D chord. Again, that's D, A, D, F sharp, A, D. Classic slide Delta Blues Swamp right there. So besides the tuning, the second most important thing about learning this song and playing this song is the feel and the swing to it and actually getting the rhythm correct. So the song is in 6-8 time, meaning it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, dump ba dump ba boom bump ba dump ba 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That's the most important part right there, aside from the tuning. So the intro, I'll just kind of loop this back and forth. It, it goes like this. I'll play it real slow first. like that super easy just practice that over and over it's actually as you can see it was really hard to count the 6-8 timing and play along there's a lot of polyrhythms going on there now another thing that I'm doing is I'm doing hybrid picking with this open tuning and I'm doing hi hybrid picking slide we'll get to the slide later because it doesn't happen until the verse but the hybrid picking looks like this As you can see on the intro, it's open. So those, uh, the D and the F sharp, these, and then the, the hammer on from the one to the three on the F sharp, those are hybrid picked. So I'm using both my middle finger and my ring finger. And then the pick is doing the chugs. Now those, da, na, 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 those are with the pick. Getting that rhythm down is going to be the hardest part about learning this song for most of you. So just practice real slow and you can look at the tab. I would recommend printing it just as I did so I can follow along myself. Um, print it out and just kind of robotically follow along with those chugs. So it's... See, if, if you're just reading along the tab and following it, the rhythm is going to happen. So it's chug, chug, hybrid pick, chug, hammer on hybrid pick. And eventually, you'll get up to it. I promise just practice that a million times and you guys will get the rhythm down. 
So moving on to this intro, I'll just play it real quick for you. Now we move on to the verse. I have the verse split up into four parts. So it's 1.1, which happens twice, 1.2, which happens once, 1.3, which happens twice, which is pretty much the same as 1.1, and then 1.4. Here's 1.1. After 1.1, we go to 1.2, which slides from the third fret to the fifth fret. And I'm going, I'm not playing that A string. I'm, I'm, I'm hybrid picking. So uh, thumb is playing the E string and my middle finger is playing the D string. And I'm using I'm using uh, my pointer finger behind the slide to mute the A. Even though I'm really just picking it, I could just go I want to add that extra mute, like how you guys learned in some of those earlier slide technique videos. Okay, so continuing. After those slide ups, you will move on to this lick, which goes like this. That's uh, follow the tab, it's exactly like that. So it's and it goes right into this. So here's the verse so far. here which goes like this so the first part of that is and then that verse ends with that lick that you did before in 1.2 it's the so I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. I'm picking that. And then the very last note of that lick, I'm hybrid picking with my middle finger. Real slow. All right, let's play this whole verse for you.
right, now let's check out this pre-chorus. So I'm using the same kind of picking pattern and uh, the same rhythm and the same hy hybrid picking on that pre-chorus as well. The only difference is we're sliding up to a 7, down to a 5, and then on this part it's a 6 on the F sharp, it's a 6 hammering on to the 8. Just like that. So the chorus leads into these kind of big chugs like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's now after that, when it goes to the I moved a lone downhill, we're just doing big like holds. So it's So that's just open seven five three three five five open. So now after that it goes it does this like open and then sliding from two to three. And I'm playing all three of those strings, the E, A, and the D. So here's the whole chorus so far. That first chorus ends with this lick, and you're basically, you're just sliding on the B string from 12 to 15. Just like that, so it's. Hold it. And then it goes from 10 to 12 on the B and the E strings. Super easy, and I'm just picking those with the pick. So it's. That's your Delta Blues swamp right there. So after that first chorus, it goes back to the verse. The verse is exactly the same as the first verse. The only thing is there's a couple licks that we're gonna throw in over top and on the intro playthrough video, you guys saw me do them. So here's that first lick that's played over uh, the second verse. So right there, I'm doing hybrid picking all the way. I'm on the, uh, the G and the B strings. Technically, it's an F sharp and an A, but I'm just gonna call it the G and the B, just to not confuse myself. So it's. So it's like this, pick. And that last eight slides up to 11. And I'm kind of like throwing some sass into it. Here's the next lick. 
go into the pre-chorus, but let me talk about that second lick over, over that verse. So I'm sliding on the G string from 12 to 15 on the 12. And I'm landing with my hybrid pick middle finger, 15th fret B string. Best way to uh, to count the timing on this on this kind of harp winding lick is once you get to here, that 15 on the B, that's going to be the first one that you do. You're going to count 18. So watch this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I didn't put this this in the tab because it's kind of it's really hard to explain. But you're going to slide that down down to that seven, which is the a B, the a seventh fret. I only stay down, and then down to five, just like that. Then after that, it goes into the same pre-chorus, and there's, a, there's two new licks over this pre-chorus number two. And here's the licks. As you can see on your tab, there are X's. The X's are ghost notes. They're like mutes. So I'm going like this. And I'm not using my pick. I'm kind of hiding my pick here. And I'm going, I'm just doing normal slide technique. Just like that. You could use your pick. But it's, but it's hard. Another technique that I, I'm always doing whenever I'm doing hybrid picking slide is I'm giving myself the opportunity to, to take my pick and to kind of like tuck it, tuck it kind of back here, just like this underneath my ring finger. And then I can just play a normal slide. And it's mainly with my with my thumb and my pointer. Let's look at this lick over the pre-chorus, and it's gonna go like this. Don't worry about the ghost notes at first. The more you play that lick, the more you'll get the feel and the rhythm of where they're supposed to be. Even if you're starting out just going. what I would recommend doing. And then slowly you can go. So after that pre-chorus, we go into chorus two, which uh, there's a couple new licks over this chorus two. So it's gonna go. Just uh, let me get rid of the pick real quick. It'll be easier to explain. I'm starting on the D string and I'm starting with 12, but I'm not emphasizing that 12th fret. I'm hitting it and immediate, immediately sliding it to 10. You guys saw me do this in some of those slide technique videos. <laughs> And then slide picks up A string on the 12. And then at the end of that chorus, it's going to go like this. tab was really hard to make. It took me a long time, so thank you guys for your patience. My favorite part of the song is going to be the end of the song, and it's the end solo. And before I go into this, I want to do a little playthrough of this end solo at 75% speed. Here we go. In the
right, so there's not a lot to it. Really, the only tricky thing is when you're switching from the, the slide to the standard, uh, just like normal solo picking. The... There's a lot of ghost notes in there. Let me just play the, the whole end of this for you real slow. every note on this end solo with my pick when I'm doing the slide stuff. The only time that I'm throwing back in the hybrid picking is on the very end. And you can either do it hybrid, which I wouldn't recommend because that will happen. You'll accidentally be playing the F sharp. So I kind of tuck my pick back and I just do my pointer and my thumb and I go like this. Because my thumb mutes that uh, F sharp, AKA the G string. So kind of a uh, quick tutorial for this song. I have faith in everybody in, in learning it. I definitely, needed to do the playthroughs for you guys. I recommend watch exactly what I'm playing, open it up on YouTube, play it at uh, half speed, play it at 75% speed. I can't stress enough how important it, this is going to be for this tutorial specifically. Um, print it out if you can. If you don't have a printer, uh, you know, have it ready on your phone or your laptop and then watch, watch this tutorial on a different device if you can. It's a great song. About halfway through the tab, I realized how many nuances there were. Um, if there's anything that I could do better as far as explaining, um, please leave it in the comment, and I will answer your questions as best as possible. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and good luck. <laughs>